Toshiko. Yes. Hey. Oh, hi. How are hey you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm so glad I was able to come in and shadow you and stuff and yeah. see what the big deal is about this dentistry thing. So. Well, what are you welcome. You know, I'm glad you could make it. And, you know, I have a busy schedule, so yeah, I had to bend some things around also. But, right. You know. Oh, okay. So, well. what do you do anyway? Well, um, I am a general dentist, and on the side, I'm a forensic dentist. So that means that I help the police identify dead bodies that are either too badly burned or too bloated or you know, too badly decomposed, so they can't identify them by, you know, fingerprints or DNA. Yeah. Yeah, so the coroner usually gives me a call, and, um, you know, I go to the scene or to the coroner's office, and I get the teeth, and I help them identify the body. You can identify a person just by seeing their teeth. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, you know, we get a case soon, and I can take you on the scene, and we can... Oh, excuse me. Dr. Cooper's office. Yes, I'm available now. Dead body, huh? All right, I'll be there right away. Kayla, put your big girl panties on. We got a case. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Hey guys, just going for a little jog. A jog? Yeah. Kind of weird. Oh. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Coming out. The victim was severely burned, so we were unable to identify him via fingerprints and DNA. Luckily, you guys can identify him via his teeth. Alright, let's see what we got. He's very badly burned. the victim's jaws here obviously um, we cut the skin away and everything and I've been just recording some probing depths on all surfaces of the teeth with okay. my instrument yeah, I've seen my dentist um, do that yeah it's pretty much the same thing so um, if you could help me out by just kind of charting the restorations I'm gonna just read out some things and I just need you to okay. Yeah, okay I can do that okay so I see a gold crown on tooth number 30 Uh, I see MOD amalgam on 15. Right. Pretty good. Cool. So uh, after we've finished the dental charting, now we're going to full mouth set of x-rays. We can do that on this? Yeah, we actually do it by using a digital sensor. And we usually use a Nomad gun, which is just a handheld x-ray machine that we can just do. Um, we don't have that today, unfortunately, so I'm going to use my trusty regular old x-ray machine, okay? Okay, okay. All right, so let's start with these x-rays here. Okay, that looks good. Make sure I open up that contact. All right, let's take this. Okay. X6. So we've taken the full mouth set of x-rays on the jaws. And now I'm just uploading them into a missing persons um, identification database. And it's for everyone who's missing and deceased. So this is what we use. The police told me that um, they have an idea of who this deceased person might be. They sent me over um, some dental records. Oh, from, to like compare? Yeah, oh, who they okay. think it is. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to compare them. And it's it's really good that these are really great x-rays so yeah. it makes our job a lot easier you wow. know yeah. so you're what are you going to use exactly you're going to use like the restorations and like the, right. the probing depths 
Wow, and who usually does, because you don't usually do that, who? Right, so when the person is alive um, and they go into the dental office, it's usually the dental hygienist oh. who charts everything and who is really accurate about, you know, getting really good wow. radiographs. So if you missed a restoration or a missing tooth or, or didn't do something, then we might not find the right person? Exactly. Oh my god. Documentation is very important. Oh, documentation is everything. Yeah. All right. All right, so it looks like these are pretty similar. I think yeah. we have a match. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, so I'll call the coroner and tell them that these are pretty similar. I think we've got our person. Cool. And then you'll know who, who it is? or do you think Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know right now. They just sent me these radiographs, so maybe we can find out from the coroner. That would be really cool. Yeah, All right. let's do it. Hello, coroner. Yes, they're a match. Do you uh, by any chance know who this person is? You're looking it up right now, okay. It's, I'm sorry, it's who? Are you joking? Oh my God. Okay, thank you, bye bye. What's going on? Do you know who this is? Victim. This is my husband. It's Steph Curry. Curry. Oh my God. Oh no, Tosha, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Oh Wait. no. It's okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll get him, we'll get him. Oh. You know what, Tosh? You shouldn't be alone right now. Why don't you come over, come over to the house oh. and Bobby and I will cook you dinner. Okay. And we'll just have some some beverages. Oh. And just just relax. I okay? need wine. Okay, we'll get we'll get you Lots some wine. Lots of wine. We'll get, we'll get okay. you some wine. Okay? okay. Okay. We'll get through this. Let's year. go. <laughs> hey, Toshiko. Perfect timing. Hey, Kayla. How you doing? You holding up okay? I'm alright. I'm I'm looking forward to your homemade dinner. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Bobby's got something cooked up really well. Good. Good. What's going on over there? Bobby, you're under the arrest for the murder of Steph Curry. You, you have the right to remain silent. Hey, Everything you say can and will be what used is this? in the court of law. I did this for us, Toshiko. I'm still in love with you. What? I killed Steph what? Curry. Yeah. I hey, killed Steph hey, Curry. Oh my god! He did? I can't believe he did that. Oh no. You know what, Tosh? We don't need men. It's fine. We can do this on our own. Yeah. Let's do it. Thank you.